Hello guys, I'm back with another video and today I will be using the Raw Beauty Christie X Pure Cosmetics palette. So there are two sides to this palette which I think is really interesting but for now we're going to stick to the neutral side because at this point it was fall a month ago when I filmed this. So I'm going to start by going in with the shade Camelot. Now the way I'm using these shadows is I'm first pressing them down and then I'm blending them out. They are pressed pigments and this is kind of the way I liked to work with them because I feel like this is the best way to get the best amount of color payoff for these. Then I'm going in with the shade Copper Boxes and at first I really didn't know what I wanted to do with this look so I just started packing it on the outer corner and then I moved it into the crease right underneath where I put that Camelot shade. And then I'm going in with the shade B on a very small brush because again I didn't really know <laughs> what I wanted to do at this point um, but I just decided to put it completely on the lid. So I'm using a smaller brush and I'm blending it um, out because I feel like that gives dark colors the most seamless blend for me. I don't like packing them on. I don't think they work as well. And so then after that, I'm taking the shade before it, which is Copper Boxes, and blending those two shades in together while also bringing B up a little higher. Because I have hooded lids, I have to do this with deeper shades just so they see the whole gradient when I open my eye. Then I'm going back in again with Camelot and just super intensifying it because I lost so much of that yellow mustard shade and I feel like that added so much to the look. So I'm taking quite a generous amount of Camelot and putting that in the crease again. Then I'm taking a little bit of concealer and I decided to do this like negative space wing. So I'm just taking the lightest concealer I have which is almost white and to be honest is my skin tone and I'm just making this negative space wing. Then I'm taking the shade Golden Ticket and I took it on this little brush and just started to pack it on top of the concealer that I had. I go back in a few times and what I like most about this shade is it isn't super super metallic but it's just shiny enough that it gives this beautiful little gleam. Okay to go in with the skin. So I'm starting with this Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Face Oil. I love this stuff for prepping skin. I have completely dry skin and honestly this just preps it perfectly for any primer, any foundation. It just makes my skin super hydrated and a little bit glowy. Then I'm going in with a Tarte Base Tape Primer. I used to not like this but I actually really love it and I get really anxious about <laughs> watching uh, myself apply products so I kind of cut that short. Then I'm taking the Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick and I'm using this new Persona Cosmetics brush. It is dual sided. It says for blush and highlight but today I decided to use it for foundation and concealer. So I'm just really putting a lot of product into the bristles and then just pouncing that into the skin. I love this foundation so much. It is expired though so I had to throw it out and get a new one. But it just gives the most beautiful glow to the skin. It lets your radiance shine through while covering up pimples and any imperfections that you have. It's beautiful and I loved the brush so much for this. Then I'm going with concealer. I did not show you what concealer I was using. But it is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer in the shade Neutral 10. And I'm just again using the other smaller side of the brush to blend this in. And I think the blend is actually really seamless. I'm not one to use brushes to blend out concealer or foundation and has this transformed me? Maybe it has. I will say because I didn't ever <laughs> blend out concealer under my under eyes, that was a different experience. But still, I really, really like the coverage that it kept with the brush. It's definitely way more coverage than I get with the sponge, obviously, because no product is getting sucked up into the sponge. I think it looks completely beautiful and this is my new favorite brush to use. Then I'm going in with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked palette. I bought this last year about uh, Halloween, so it's a one year anniversary. I do love this palette so much. Uh, I wish the pan sizes were a hair bigger because I have to use kind of a smaller brush when I'm digging into the bronzer shade and the blush shade, but they just blend so seamlessly. They look so beautiful. And really they have this nice radiance to them, which you know, as a dry skin girl, I kind of need that. I do mix the bronzer shade and the 
deeper powder to get my perfect bronzer color. Then I'm going in with the blush from that palette. I mixed the two, that's my favorite way to wear the blushes in the palette, is to mix them. I feel like it gives the most beautiful, healthy flush to the skin while also having some shimmer because one of the blushes is shimmer, one of the blushes is matte. And here's my favorite part of this palette. The highlight is just, I mean, can words describe how beautiful this is? No. If Shakespeare wrote us on it, it would be about this highlight. So beautiful. Then we're going in with the lower lash line. I'm pretty much just taking all of the shades on my lower lash line, starting with the two brown shades and then going back in with that mustardy shade. I'm pulling that mustard shade up to near my inner corner. I kind of wanted a little mustard over there. And then I'm just finishing it off by taking my Lily Lashes Triple X Mascara, which is life-changing, incredible. Love it so much. And just applying that to my lashes as well. They look absolutely fake. It's insane. I mean, look at that. Then, last but not least, the lip. So I decided to do a brown lip with this. So I'm taking a lip liner from NYX. I'm not quite sure the shade name because <laughs> I accidentally rubbed it off. And I'm just lining the outside of my lips with this because I think the applicator on the Fenty um, matte lipsticks, um, the liquid lipsticks are quite difficult because they're so fat. So I just did that to kind of outline the back of it. This is in the shade Unveiled. I love a good brown shade. Looks so beautiful on the lips and so perfect for fall. And here is the finished look using the Raw Beauty Christie X Pure Palette. And I love it so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!